Hi and welcome. In this video, I'll discuss the three network authentication protocols which operates at layer 2 of OSI model that is the data link layer. Now a network authentication protocol basically authenticates the claim of a client once it wants to connect to a network. And a good network security design should assume that an attacker can sniff all the network traffic. Now the first uh, protocol is the password authentication protocol which is a very weak authentication protocol because it sends the username and password in clear text. So any attacker can sniff these information and can launch a replay attack by replaying these information. So this protocol is very weak and should not be used. Now the next protocol is the challenge handshake authentication protocol or CHAP. Now this protocol is more secure because it does not share the password on the network in clear text and passwords are created during the account enrollment process of a client and these passwords are only stored over the server. Now this protocol is also not susceptible to the replay attack because it uses a, a random value each time client wants to connect to a network and this random value is different each time. Now once the client wants to access a network, then the client first initiate an initial connection using link control protocol. And this initial connection is unauthenticated over here. Now over here then the server starts the three-way authentication process of CHAP. Now first the server sends uh, this random uh, string through the client. And this random string is also called nuns. Now the client once receives this random string over here, then the client combines this random string with his password and then the client uses a hashing algorithm for example message digest 5 or md5 to create a hash value. And then the client sends this hash value to the server. The server at his own end uh, calculates its own hash value by combining the stored password of a client and this same random string. If these uh, two hash values are same, then the client is authorized access to the network. Now this uh, challenge handshake uh, authentication protocol is uh, suffering only with a one vulnerability or a single point of failure that is the server. So if an attacker can compromise the server then he can access all the passwords which are stored in clear text on the server. The next protocol is the extensible authentication protocol or EAP. Now this uh, extensible authentication protocol is not a protocol but it, it is basically a framework and it has around 40 variations. Now there are three components in extensible authentication protocol that is the supplicant, authenticator and the authentication server. Now supplicant is the client who wants to connect to the network of an authenticator. And this authenticator authenticates the identity of this supplicant using this authentication server. So if this authentication server verify the identity of this supplicant, then this authenticator allow supplicant access to this internal network of an organization. Now EAP is mostly used on VLANs or wireless networks. So this was all uh, from my side. I have put in all the links in the description below. Please uh, stay connected to my channel for similar news. Thank you.